All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about acid strength and molecular structure. So what's the deal with molecular structure and acid strength? How does that make a difference? So let's look at two different examples. So let's say we have H2SO4 and we're gonna compare that with H2SO3. What's the difference between those two? Well, we know that one has one more oxygen than the other. So the question is, how does that make a difference? So if we go back and we look at our, at our list of strong acids, we're gonna find that H2SO4 is a strong acid. And then if you go look in the tables for your weak acids, you'll find that H2SO3 is a weak acid. So now it comes to the question, so we see that one's strong and one's weak. Why the heck is this one weak and this one strong? What makes the difference between those two? Well, all this stems back to what you learned in chemistry one, the Lewis structures. You remember the word resonance? What's that mean? Resonance, remember, is where you can have a rotation of electrons around the molecule. So a lot of times polyatomic ions are gonna have resonance structures. So if we take, for example, sulfate, all right, sulfate has two oxygens of double bonded, and then you're gonna have the other two oxygens, which have these negative charges. So the resonance structure forms when this double, these double bonds are able to rotate around the, its structure. Now, if we look at the, at the next one here, which is the, the sulfide ion, still has negative two charge, but if you notice here, this one has one less resonance structure than the sulfate ion does. So why is that important? It's all about stability. The sulfate ion has more resonance structure, so it's gonna be more stable because it can have that, it can lose those hydrogens a little bit easier. That's what allows H2SO4 to be a strong acid, whereas sulfite, in this case, it has one less, one less resonance structure, therefore it, it's considered to be a weak acid. It's not stable, so it does not want to give away completely, dissolve, dissociate its hydrogen completely. And so when we talk about acid strength, we have to pay attention to that. We have to pay attention to the, the polyatomic ion that's associated with it, how many resonance structures it has. So the rule of thumb here to remember is that when we talk about resonance structures, the more resonance structures you have, the more stable that polyatomic ion is, and the stronger the acid it will be. So, so this is just, these are just two examples. So, so if we look at a, another two examples, we're going to look at nitric acid. So we're going to look at nitric acid versus nitrous acid. And we gotta ask the same question. Well, which one of these two are strong and which one's weak? Well, if you take into consideration what I just said about resonance structures, we can answer that question fairly easy. And over here we have this little structure. So we can see from here that we can form three resonance structures with the nitrate, whereas here we only have two resonance structures. So right off the bat, we can see that the nitrate is gonna have more stability. So the nitric acid will be a strong acid, whereas the nitrous acid is going to be a weak acid. What if we have methanol? Is methanol considered an acid? or is it neutral? What about ethanol? Same concept. Is it considered to be an acid or is it neutral? Is it basic? What do you think? Now, if, if you're not familiar with some of the rules and, and determining whether something's acidic, basic, or neutral, this might be a little more challenging. But if we look at this, it has an OH group in it. What's one of the things that we talk about with OH? 
we relate that to hydroxide, right? You can't do it this way. You know why? Because the OH is actually bonded covalently to the carbon. And so the carbon's not going to release this oxygen because it's not stable. It's not in favor to lose that oxygen to form a hydroxide. Same thing over here. If you draw the Lewis structure, you're going to have this, this OH over here, which it, in turn, these both are considered to be alcohols, not hydroxides. And the reason why this, these are not basic or, or acidic, these are actually neutral compounds, is because it's not favored for the alcohol to, to be broken off as a hydroxide. It's not stable enough.